my name is Ian, um, I'm an architectural technician and the surgery I've just had is the LASIK eye design. I've tried contacts probably my first year of uni, so probably like 2010, but they just weren't really for me in terms of, I'm not the most, uh, although I work in architecture, I'm not the most sort of um, thimble or have that sort of soft uh, touch to things and whatnot. So me fiddling with my eyes is quite a difficult thing to do. Uh, but glasses, um, I've worn them since then. A little bit of the reliant, of how reliant I was, was starting to impact my life. Like for instance, um, when I go to the gym, um, you wouldn't normally think you'd need to wear your glasses, but I leave them on just because of the machinery and seeing what buttons to press and whatnot. So I'll be on the treadmill with my glasses on or do my weights or whatever, um, which makes it quite difficult as well sometimes. When I play football um, during the week, I'll be driving to football with my glasses on, and especially with the time of the season now with it being dark and floodlights, it takes a good five, 10 minutes for my eyes to come round and the game's already started by then. <laughs> like for me, for instance, I buy a lot of designer glasses just because I feel if it's gonna be in my face 24 seven, I want it to look a certain way. And when you add that cost up over a 15 to 20 year period, it's better off just having the surgery. Uh, that's my advice to anybody else. Um, for my job, for instance, I can do a lot more in terms of safety measure. If I have to be going to a site where there's lots of dust and um, debris around, um, me wearing my glasses with sight goggles over the top, it makes it visibly harder to see things just because you've got two different forms of lenses in front of you. Um, and also, it's less safe as well, so now I'll only need safety goggles and I can do a lot more than I wasn't able to do before. So um, everything was really smooth, um, everyone was really polite, everyone was really reassuring um, and upbeat as well, which something I do notice little things, like the colleagues that I spoke to, everyone was quite energetic and the enthusiasm was at a high um, through the surgery. I had one of the ladies sort of holding my hand as well. <laughs> Which well, sounds funny, but it just makes you at more ease, doesn't it? You feel like you're not around strangers and the unknown, the people that are trying to help you and make you um, feel um, at comfort. So um, I was really, um, really happy with the whole experience and I'm quite pleased today. I was thanking one of the representatives again, just to thank the actual surgeon who worked on my eyes just because of the job that he's done, um, the results which I had back have come out really good. Today, when I woke up, like, I think I woke up in the middle of the night and actually this morning on my way here, I was like, I can see. <laughs> when I got into the car, I noticed straight away, I'll be wearing glasses normally. How come I can see that number plate? So, and it's only been 24 hours. So on a whole, um, I would say just very pleased, very happy. Um, and it's gonna make my job easier um, and it's gonna make my focus a lot better as well, um, I believe. Me having laser surgery is only gonna improve and get better from strength to strength um, as the days and weeks go by. And even if you're a bit apprehensive about it and you feel like you've, like you've got so many negatives about having it done, just go to a consultation. Um, the good thing about them is they are free and any sort of um, advice that you may have been given in the past may actually work out to be um, bad advice or negative advice, go to a professional. Yeah, I would highly recommend Optical Express to friends and family. I'm only gonna speak highly of the um, procedure that I've gone through and will recommend to colleagues and anybody I come across in the future. I feel at comfort, I'm relieved, um, I'm happier. Um, and especially with the times that we're in um, at this present moment, it's uplifting and you need day by day little things to keep you uplifted and motivated throughout the day so I'm, um, I'm feeling real good.